welcome friends in this video we will learn how to regulate java memory settings of our java process so suppose we launch a java process by calling java my class then it runs our java process and it sets the values of the heap size and the stack size as default values whatever are the default values for that platform so it runs the process with default settings but if you want to regulate the heap size stack size and other things we can do that with configuration parameters so the first one is minus xms it is used to default to set the minimum heap size so here we have given it 512 m so basically m uh, corresponds to mb and it will set the default heap size as 512 mb if we give k then it will be 512 kb similarly we can use g for gb there are other uh, similar uh, word options for different memory units so basically we can configure it in, in bytes kb mb gb whatever we want and if we don't define it its default value is 164th of the physical memory available on that computer so this is the default value for it and otherwise we can you know define it by using the mi minus m mx configuration parameter and this default value lies between 8 MB to 1 GB. So if the 164th value of physical M memory is less than 8 MB, it will be then the default value will be 8 MB. And you know, if 164th is greater than 1 GB, then it will limit to 1 GB. The next parameter is minus XMX, which is used to configure the maximum heap size. So here, for example, we have configured the maximum heap size as 1 GB. And we can, you know, configure it in KBs, MBs, whatever we want, as shown in the above example for minimum heap size. So using this parameter, we can govern the maximum heap size. And as already told minus xms is the minimum heap size and the default value for maximum heap size is half of the physical memory or one fourth of the physical memory depending upon the physical memory available so if the physical memory is less than 192 mb in that case, the default value of maximum heap size will be one fourth of the physical memory. And if it is greater than 192 MB, then the default value for maximum heap size will be one half the physical memory. So 192 is the limit. If less than that, then one fourth. And if greater than that, then half. This is the default value. If we don't define minus XMS, this is how maximum heap size is regulated and we can you know configure it in mbs kbs whatever unit we want and needless to say that we can configure both these limits together as well we can configure minus xms and minus xmx together as shown in this example where we are configuring minimum size as 512 MB and maximum size as 1 GB. And since XMS is minimum size and XMS X is maximum size, it is obvious that minimum size can be not greater than maximum size. The best it can do is that it can be equal to maximum size. In that case, the java process will start and continue to run with a fixed heap size but it cannot exceed the maximum size
so another interesting parameter to learn is the nursery size so it is denoted by minus x n s and you know nursery is part of the heap and it is that part of the heap where the young generation objects live so after the objects have passed a certain amount of time they are promoted to old generation and in the new jvm there are different garbage collector cycles for both of them so we have young generation heap and we have old generation heap so we can define the young generation size and whenever this size will exceed automatically the garbage collector for the young generation will start to run so there are different garbage collectors for different uh, generations so as soon as this size exceeds the young generation garbage collector will start to run and you know it will free up some memory so it, it it is also a useful parameter in regulating the heap and since it is you know kind of a sub part of the heap it can also not exceed the maximum heap size so we can define the nursery size as here we have defined the nursery size as 10 mb so depending upon our use case after memory study of our application we can define it according to the size that we want so as i told earlier that when the objects have lived for a sufficient amount of time or when a certain limit is crossed the objects are transferred from the young generation to the old generation so what is the threshold how how is it decided that this is the time to promote the objects from young generation to old generation it is known as keep area ratio so it is configured by the keep area ratio configuration parameter so its default value is 25% so when 25% of the total heap size is full then this cycle runs of transferring the objects from young generation to old generation if we want we can override this as well so when launching our java process we can you know change it to 10% whatever we want so default value is 25% so these are some of the important parameters that we learned that can you know help us uh, regulate your heap our heap size in our java process so as a revision these parameters were minus x ns and minus x x keep area ratio so this is you know kind of min heap this is max heap this is nursery and this is the ratio of promotion from young to old generation so 
this is you know some of the parameters that which we we that we can use to regulate our heap size if you want to check all the heap parameters of your java process you can run this command so you can run java minus xx and you can pass this parameter print final flags you need to write minus version and then you can grep heap size so using this command on linux you can know all the configuration parameters related to heap for windows this command remains same the only difference is instead of grep you do find string and you write heap size so this way you can know all your configuration parameters related to heap now let's talk about the thread stack for a while so the thread stack is regulated by minus x s s parameter so this is the value of the memory allocated to the stack of each thread so you all know that when we start our java process our application starts in the daemon thread uh, in the main thread and apart from main thread there are many many daemon threads also running and in the code you can generate further more threads as well so whatever you set your value for example you set fifty k. So, so here fifty KB of memory will be allotted to stack of each of the threads. So the more memory you are able to allocate, those um, each of the stack you know will perform a bit better. So you know we can combine all these parameters together. We can define the nursery size maybe we can say it to be 10 mb and we can define the heap area ratio maybe we give it 50 percent and we can also define our thread stack size as 50 kb or whatever we think is appropriate and then we can give our class name so these are some of the basic, basic configuration parameters for a detailed list of all the configuration parameters i will add the official documentation link in my description and you can check them out thank you